got uh, started on this new project recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called the Hazy Chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the Hazy Chambers. That's a new thing that we, that we started. Hazy Chambers? I wonder what that has to do with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll get this. That's what happened. I can't plug that in like that. You got the other one? Which one? Oh, that's USB-C all the way. Mm -hmm. I need um, USB-C to UV USB. You got one of those? Mm -hmm. I figured that out. What kind of, is that a lacy dryer? Yeah. Looks cool. What was your email again? It's, um... Say, like, if we wanted to do, like, a live session while we recorded, you know what I'm saying? Like, we set up with, like... You know, you'd have to, like, get all your stuff set up before we come in. Really? Or, you know, we'd have all our stuff, you know. There'd have to be a prep, you know, and everything. <laughs> so. huh. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. First things first, let's get the master and then... No, we're talking about like a different song. Okay. So, you emailed it to me? I guess we just have a little conversation about exactly what you need to do. Yeah. You know, build a scenario around that. Yeah, I'll just like, I guess we like figure out how many bikes we can, and you just kind of have them out and ready. And yeah. then I'll just bring the stuff in and then we just set it up real quick and get like a level check. Mode. It doesn't go fast. Yeah. <laughs> There's logistics. When are you thinking about doing it? The end of this month. So probably either January or February. So I guess things are going well with the van. You do. Do what? Uh, how did things go with your last release? It was pretty good, yeah. Like, you know, it sounded well. It sounded yeah. pretty good. Did you distribute a lot of copies? Well, we haven't made, like, physical copies. We just kind of, like, did the streaming stuff. Oh, there you go. Pretty good. Got like, a few amount of streams in there. We're just starting this different project now with this. It's a whole different thing. This is, like, completely different. That's cool. And you engineered it all? Yeah. It's just me and him though. Yeah. Not as, uh, Not as heavy. Hard rock. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm.
First project to this? Yeah, because it's like this it's, is uh, so much it's less saturation all the yeah. distorted guitars and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know what but I mean? I mean, there's a lot of. Uh, I'm able to like 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 the snare. You can you can hear yeah. like all the all the transients. Yeah, like in but, the. I mean, the there's a lot of there's really. transparency in it. Like you can hear, you know, how frequencies colliding. And good job, yeah. good job on the mix. Yeah. I like the track. Makes me think of Beck. Not to compare. Yeah. The, but I like that, Beck. Yeah. That's a, <laughs> yeah. You know. We're trying to. Yeah. We we were just kind of trying to keep it more simple. Yeah. It was like just like like a three chord this song. Like, no, the other one it was kind of like more like eight minute songs and stuff like. Yeah. That, and like but that, there's like a. This the, is more. Strict this song. is stuck in my head now. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. All this night is, long I'll be going. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> the point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. It's very yeah, accessible. You get it. You get it. Very catchy. I'm really surprised by that. Same dude. There was no smoking of marijuana during the making of no, this record. Nothing not. This one is this is the silver one. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking, right? No, you heard the reverb on the snare, right? Uh, yeah. And yeah. It has nothing to do with weed. No. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, like Rick Rooney said that one time because he like he noticed how much like reverb I used on that mix or whatever. Well, we talked about that. <laughs> I, can, I can play you. And I was like, dude, you're gonna love it. Um, I think you still have that like <laughs> that Empire of Sound. Mm -hmm. Doing that teaching thing. My old studio. <laughs> I know, yeah. Cause I was like, I was looking for your like nomad stuff, and I was like, what the hell is that? that Alex guy is banging right now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing now? Just level game? Normalizing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut all that, like, later on. I'm gonna try to get it to, like, Exactly 420. <laughs> you need to extend it if you want. Well, no, it's at 423. Oh, I can make it 420. Yeah, but just yeah, make it fade out. Like by the time it gets to 4, you know what I mean? Like as that last year, we'll mm -hmm. make it kind of start fading. So at yeah. the very end of the fade, it's exactly 420. <laughs> You just don't have it have that other stuff. Yeah. That's what you want? That's what you got. Yeah. <laughs> why 420? I, I, know. I know why 420. Somehow magically the song became think, <laughs> so I just figured to make it that way. Yeah, it's it's exactly four minutes and twenty seconds. Yeah, like I didn't mean for the song to be that long, but it just oh, it's, it's just sort of subliminal. <laughs> or sort of like Coincidence? Yeah, well, it's like it's like the cranberry sauce thing with mm. all of the things happen. Well, it's cool. like people are gonna think something else about it. <coughs> <laughs> it's 420. So the normalizing it or from the after you what do you call it? The this. There's the master. There's your mix on the master. <laughs> That well, sounded pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not hard to do when you got a good mix, you know. So. Yeah. 
Well, we got some more songs in the works too, so. What's your email? Uh, we're gonna use one. Actually, just go here. Okay, yeah, just use one. Borks. Yeah, yeah, we do. So once we get those recorded, you know, we're trying to get enough, a trip again. Yeah, we're trying to get enough to make like a at least a full side here. You should have been mastering all day. Oh yeah. Want an album or a scene? Yeah, I did an album earlier. <clears throat> did an album for the ex bass player from Megadeth. His oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> he liked my work. He said, I heard you got to do good work. I'm like, hey man, they're checks in the mail. So which like merciful thing or King Diamond stuff did you do? Because there's a uh, King Diamond Voodoo. Abigail too. Like you did like mixed or recorded it or I did, just mastered I, it? I did a little, you know, I assisted on the recording, but I did the mastering. Um, I mean, it was all done in my studio, but it was like Voodoo, uh, Abigail 2, uh, the, the live album, Puppet Master, and House of God, and there's one other, I forget the title now. And then Merciful Fate 9 and Merciful Fate Dead Again. Yeah. Did all those. Yeah. Yeah, Shit, the winter's up there. When I first, my first, my first trip to New England was in October, around Columbus Day. It was beautiful. I was telling people, man, I want to move here. And they're like, are you nuts? Come back in February. Well, that's like the garage, right? Because we yeah. used to come to the garage. Yeah. We'll see you. Right. You guys be safe. Drive careful. Thanks. Take care.